Hey everybody, welcome to the gg.co.uk uh, horses to follow list with me, Daryl Carter. The first video is going to be novice hurdlers to follow, and I want to get something straight out there straight away. Um, I'm quite keen to take Kilcrow and Sir Gerhard on next season at the Cheltenham Festival. They're both going to be turning seven by the time the big one comes around. And seven-year-olds don't have a great record in either of the novice races. In fact, French Holly was the only horse to win the Ballymore age seven. And there's only been six winners of the Supreme Novice Hurdle since 1946 that have been age seven. Both of these horses, Sir Jet Hard and Kilcrook, they dominated the bumper division last year. I thought the division lacked a lot of depth. Um, I don't know what you think. But I thought it lacked a lot of depth. They were the two standout candidates. And I think they're going to be over bet in the markets. I think the Novice Hurdle Division is looking for some new blood. I can't wait to get the season started. So let's kick off. The first on our list is Nicky Henderson's I Am Maximus. This horse won a really, really tidy little bumper at Cheltenham in October last year. My Drogo finished second. He's now rated 155. He's a grade one winner towards the end of last season at Aintree. I wouldn't take that form too literally, um, given that My Drogo improved throughout the season. But there were some good horses in behind who have won subsequently since. Uh, and I've got the form rated around 130, between 130 and 135. If he takes another set forward, he's going to be bang there or thereabouts in the Novice Hurdle division this year. Now, we got a little bit sick after that Cheltenham bumper run. They put him away. They didn't want to bring him back in the spring because they felt the ground would be far too quick for him. Um, and he's going to be coming fresh back this season for Nicky Henderson. So I am Maximus looks a nice horse to keep on side going forward. Shall we have one more for Gary Moore? Is the next on the list. He's a four-year-old. He's another horse by Authorised, the same sire as I am Maximus. But he may want a bit better ground, this horse. He quickened up in really good style at Kempton to land a bumper back in March. He beat Nicky Henderson's walking on air that day very, very easily. Uh, the bumper did lack a bit of depth, but the right two horses came to the fore that day. Um, and he was having a look, good look around once he hit the front, suggesting there's plenty more in the tank to come from him. I was really impressed. The time figure was very, very good. Uh, and the visual impression that he gave you just looked like a really smart horse to follow this term. If he's not quite, not quite good enough to, to live up to the, the big um, festival novice races, then he's definitely going to be winning some races throughout the season. So shall we have one more for Gary Moore? Looks full of speed. He's half-brother to a pair of flat winners. Um, uh, he's already surpassed his siblings on his RPR rating. So I do think he's going to have a good chance. Jerry Colom is next in line for Gordon Elliott. I think this horse is going to be seeing the best effect once he sees a hurdle and over two and a half miles. He's been given plenty of positive mentions by the likes of Jamie Codd, which is always a good sign from the Codd father. Cost around 240000 at the festival sale last March. He's two for two in bumpers, three for three in his career. He is a former point winner uh, and he's got a lovely physical type about him. Um, I think he's going to progress with every single run this term. State man for Willie Mullins, who runs in the Donnelly colours, the familiar Shishkin Donnelly colours. Um, he is a son of Dr. Dino. He may prefer a sounder surface, but he was a huge, huge eye catcher in France. And he's only starting a three-year-old hurdle in Otoy last May. He was behind a horse called Bustleton. Bustleton came out last term and had a cracking first juvenile season on the UK shores, UK and Irish shores. Um, but this horse, State Man, who finished behind him, came from a lot further back in that particular race and just screamed like a potential improver. He's been picked up by the Donnellys and Mullins, and I think he could rank quite highly in their novice hurdle division. He did have a triumph entry last year, but it was scrapped. It didn't materialise for whatever reason. Perhaps they've given him more time to settle in. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm really looking forward to seeing State Man. Um, the number one, the number one pick on this list, if you take away no other horse from this, Please do take away who Briscoe is again with Willie Mullins. I think Willie Mullins is going to dominate this year. I think he's got a fantastic chance of regaining the trainer championship. Um, he, he, Briscoe won a three-year-old hurdle in France in devastating fashion. One going away by eight lengths. Um, the form has worked out pretty well. The fourth bolted up next time by six lengths. Uh, and a couple of others in there have won uh, subsequently since as well. The third is now with Gary Moore. Now, he was beaten at Fontwell, but... 
He did too much too soon, that horse. He was very keen on, on, his, on his debut and just tired towards the finish. But it was full of promise. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at him as well if I was you. But it was just the way he swept past the leaders, showed a real bright turn of foot and one going away like... It was nothing to him. Um, he looks a really smart, smart horse. Uh, another son of Dr. Dino, he's produced, who has produced horses such as Master Dino, La Bagawa, So Royale, Sharjah. So the, 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 the Mullins and the Ritchie camp have obviously got a bit of a connection with Dr. Dino. Um, and this Hibrisco could be very, very smart indeed. He's around 33 to 1 at the moment for the Supreme Novice Hurdle. That's the trip he's going to be running over. He's got plenty of speed in his pedigree. I suspect he's going to rank very very highly in the mullins camp so that's who briscoe the number one selection in the horses to follow list for novice hurdlers 2021 22. best of luck with all your bets don't back these horses blindly please wait for the right conditions um i will flag these horses up on the gg.co.uk column when they're running and uh and then we can take a look at how their chances are on the day under those particular conditions so please don't back them blind but who briscoe wouldn't put you off already at 33 to 1 for the Supreme Novice Hurdle. Best of luck.